Barata, good morning. I think we are in. How are we today? Don't answer that. I know it's grey. <laughs> it's a little bit damp. So I'm hoping this is the best place for us all this morning. I'm really excited because I know a couple of you have emailed me and you've had the bands. So we're going to do a little bit more strength today, um, just because I know you've all got a band. Well, I think you've all got a band. And if you haven't, it is Sarah with an H dot tag, uh, T-A-W-G at keradigian.gov.uk. Because I've got about six left. And if they go, I'll be allowed to order more. Thank you to Keradigian Active for giving us the bands. So, um, yeah, everyone's just really keen for us to stay active and stay strong at this time. So how are you today? You OK? I can't quite hear you, but that sounds like you're all right. But, you know, a bit stiff, maybe. <laughs> but um, yet yeah, seriously, if you're not feeling well, please maybe give today a miss, particularly if you've got a fever or anything like that. Um, but this session will record and you can access the link at any time. If you are sort of injured in any way, just go easy. Remember, I tend to do a generic session, but if anything really aggravates you, so particularly if the day or the day after you think, oh, that exercise, I know it was that, just leave it out and we can do something slightly different, okay? So I have got, the things I need, where are they? It's behind me. So I've got my chair. We're going to do our warm up seated. But like I, I think I emailed one of you, if you prefer to do this warm up standing, then be my guest. Just make sure that, that you feel comfortable. You've got something you can hold on to just in case. All right, it's the same sort of movements. I'm hoping you've got a drink. OK, and that your chair is nice and secure. So when you stand up, if you need something to hold on to, now might be the time just to make sure you've got something that you can hold to as you stand. OK, otherwise I'll get seated and I'll show you the resistance bands. Actually, I'm not going to sit down just yet. I know that um, you've had these. If you haven't had it, I apologise. Panya, if you're watching, I forgot. OK, um, but just check the band before you use it every time, just to make sure it's not going to snap. There's no wear or tear. They're pretty hard wearing, but um, sometimes something nicks them. And if that happens, we can get you a new one. OK, so and I just wanted you to know that every brand of resistance bands comes in different strengths. So this is the lightest band I'm using. And the red one I've got there is a medium resistance, whereas the ones I've sent you, I think the blue are medium and the red are light. So again, we can uh, adjust that. So should we talk about our working position? Yes. All right. So if this is our chair, my friends, we know the score now. We're not going to do our exercise and warm up like that. We need to get ourselves into that working position. So it's like standing. So our first port of call is we're going to just see if we can sit up on those sitting bones and lengthen through that spine, relax the shoulders. Then we're going to bring those feet underneath the knee so they're hip width apart. And once we're there, we're just going to gently lift one sitting bone at a time Walk forwards till we're in that front half of the chair. Now, not everyone is comfortable doing this. So just go easy. Find that position that you feel happy and safe in. Now, I'm going to turn this chair around. I'm going to hang my band on the back of my chair. So you're in your working position. OK, and we're going to warm up. We are going to feel so much better after this warm up. We're going to feel looser. Your joints are going to feel much, much more free. So we're going to start with a little shoulder squeeze up and then we're just going to relax those shoulders down. So just draw the shoulders up to your ears and then relax those shoulders down. Good. And these sessions, it's all about really doing as much, going to your range, not pushing beyond it. So we're going to take one more. So if that hurts, just try taking your shoulders slightly lower. 
and finding that range that works for you because then the body relaxes and it's so much more pleasant now we've done our little shoulder squeeze what we're going to do next is we're just going to drop your chin down to your chest and we're going to lift it back up so i'm going to show you from this position so you can see we're sitting nice and tall we're going to just gently drop that chin towards your chest we're going to lift that head look straight ahead now relax those shoulders should we do that one more time just drop that chin down towards the chest lift that head look straight ahead relax the shoulders now we're going to think about really lengthening through this body so if you try and create some space between the ribs and the pelvis that'll really help with your sitting tall now we're going to just turn the head really slowly towards the shoulder and then we're going to come back we're not going to go mad <laughs> although <laughs> This is probably the wildest we're going to get at the moment, isn't it, my friends? <laughs> we're not allowed to do anything wild. Come back to centre. Let's see if we can turn the other way. Good. So, uh, Norma, you need to put those dancing shoes away unless you're going to do it in your kitchen. But I'll let you know when we can go out partying, my friends. Good. We'll come back to centre. So if we think about these sessions, in a sense, of getting us ready for the excitement that's going to come. <laughs> so we're going to roll those shoulders now up to the ears and back down. So we're making some circles. And what I like to do is circle the shoulders backwards because we quite often move them forwards anyway. So this is just really getting that back sort of activated those upper back muscles now let's see if we can move those feet in that chair so my apologies i've got my long trousers on because it was cold and i know they're not the greatest to be um to see on this screen because the chair is so dark i might see if i can paint the chair actually hmm, that's a thought there's nothing yet yeah i'll try and do that my friends for next week so we're just lifting those feet one at a time and then we're just going to steady those feet so i'm going to come back to face you we're sitting nice and tall now let's see if we can take those feet just a little bit wider we're going to let those arms relax by your side and remember we want to keep those sitting bones on the chair now what we're going to do is just lift that rib cage out of the hips nice and easy come up so we're warming up this part of your back and i was doing this and i was telling the class earlier i was doing this with my um teenage son and he was just letting this this happen and uh, and was really struggling to get the fact that he needed to keep those sitting bones on the chair so it's very much about this bit no movement beyond below the waist and just really warming up the back this way good stuff and then we're going to come all the way back up. Now let's see if we can just walk these feet back in. And then let's try that again. So we're going to turn the toes out. We're going to bring the heels in line, toes out, heels in line. Heels in, toes in, heels in, toes in. And we're back to hip width apart. Now let's see if we can lift the heels off the floor. So I'm going to show you from this angle. We're just picking those heels up and we're going to take a little tap. We're going to do five, four, three two one then we're going to lift the toes up we're going to go five four three two one let's try it with the heels up five four three two one let's try lifting those toes up five four three two one lovely now we're going to take the heel and we're going to take the toe to the same spot on the carpet good so we're going to go heel and toe heel and toe lovely heel and toe and heel and toe then we're going to change feet okay so this is a lovely little exercise to warm up the ankles and it really warms up the calf muscles as well good and we're really just trying to find that same spot on the floor and then bring those feet down now let's see if we can take that little roll of the shoulders again and as you bring those elbows down we're going to just cross those arms in front of you now we're going to take the feet just a little bit wider knees a little bit wider draw that tummy button in as if you're doing up that tight pair of trousers and then we're going to take now don't let those knees move so those knees are facing forwards you can feel those sitting bones on the chair and we're just taking a really gentle twist one way 
and then coming back to center. Lovely. Good. So this is a really important one not to overdo. But if we can do this in this session, it just means that we're far less likely to pull something when we're turning quickly in the kitchen, when we're rolling over in bed. So we're keeping this part of the spine and the muscles that support it nice and mobile and flexible. And then we're just gonna let those arms just swing gently by your side. So if you've got a chair with arms, this is gonna be quite difficult. So bear with me, but uh, you know, we have to use what we've got in the home, haven't we? So if the only thing you've got is a chair with arms, that's fine. Now, we're gonna just let those hands come to a standstill and we're gonna bring the hands onto the thighs. Now let's see if we can take a little toe tap forwards and a toe tap forwards, good. So we're gonna tap forwards. Now when you're doing this, what we tend to do is tap forwards and do that or we lean into it. So I'm gonna get you to see if you can just sit nice and strong and get those legs to move independently of the body, okay? Or the trunk, should I say. Good, all right, that's it. Now let's see if we can take those heels forwards, tap and back, tap and back. We're gonna do four more, and three, and two, and one, and then we're gonna see if we can bring those hands, and as if you're pushing something away from you, push those hands away from your chest. I'll show you from this angle, push and back. Good, and again, we're not following it with our trunk. Push and back, good, we're gonna push. Let's do one more, shall we? Push, and then we're gonna just let those hands rest on the thighs again, and we're gonna take a little tap out to the side this time. So. When we're standing, when we do this, it's just coming on the outside of that chair leg. So if you've got that chair in front of you, we're just getting used to that movement. Good, so we're gonna tap and back. Lovely, tap and back. Good, two more and one. And then we're gonna bring it in. I'm gonna see if you can just take your heel in front of you. So if I show you from the side, we're gonna take that heel in front of you and just draw that toe up to the ceiling. Okay, so we're getting a little stretch down the back of the leg and then keeping that back as long as you can, we're just gonna gently, gently lean forward so you can feel a little bit more of a stretch in the back of the leg. And then we're gonna come all the way up, slide this foot in. So we'll do the same on the other side. It's not ideal me showing you in that angle because we want you firmly in the right position on that chair but I don't wanna waste your time by moving the chair or I should have two chairs, two painted white chairs. Okay, now we're just gonna gently lean forwards towards that straight leg. Good, you can see I'm smiling. I don't really mean it. <laughs> and then we'll come up, bring it in. So should we take that walk on the spot? Walk in our chair, let's get these arms going, shall we? So we've got that 90 degree angle in the elbow. We're sitting nice and tall. We're going for a yomp across. Let's go across the beach, shall we? <laughs> because the fields are too muddy at the moment. So it's beautiful afternoon, morning. Don't look out the window. Just imagine the sunshine, okay? You can see the blue sky ahead. That's it. We're gonna go four, three, two and one and then just relax those legs relax those arms and we'll take that little squeeze up we'll relax those shoulders down now i'm going to get you to give me a little wave with this hand so i think this is your left hand and i'm going to get you just to gently tap your right knee so that opposite knee and then you're going to bring it back we're going to take the other hand and we're just going to tap the opposite knee, good. So we're just gonna take a little tap, so we've got these little twists, remember those little twists? We're gonna tap and bring it out. Now I'm gonna get you to draw that tummy button in, okay? So we're gonna tap and in, tap and back, good. We're gonna do three and two and one. Lovely, my friends. Now, just relax the shoulders. See if you can hold on to the back of that chair. So I'll show you from this angle. I will. And we're just holding on to the back of that chair, just keeping 
that chin parallel to the floor. So we're looking straight ahead, just opening out this chest a little bit. And then we're gonna roll those shoulders up and back. I'm gonna to turn to face you because I'm now gonna walk one hand over that shoulder. Same hand, same shoulder. Gonna give myself a nice pat on the back and you should too. And then we're gonna bring it down. So we'll do the same on the other side. Walk that hand over that shoulder. And the important thing here is not to push too far and not to hold your breath. So try and breathe out. Good, all right. And then we'll take that little shoulder squeeze. Now, we're gonna see if we can bring those hands out in front of you and you're gonna turn your palms up to the ceiling. And this time we're gonna take a little squeeze behind you. And we wanna keep those elbows quite close to the body and we'll be doing this with the resistance band later. So it's a rowing movement. So you're gonna draw those shoulder blades together, keep that chest lifted. And we're just gonna do two more. And we're gonna do one more, good. And then we're gonna relax, take a little roll of those shoulders. Good work, my friends. Now, we're just gonna see one more little exercise before we stand up. We're just gonna imagine that you're stood or seated in front of a wall, and you're just gonna slide your hand up the wall and back down again. So just imagine you're sliding that hand up the wall and back down again. We're just getting a nice bit of movement in the shoulders. Now, some of us have got very sore shoulders and you'll find that's about as far as you can go. That's okay, don't try and push too far. So what we never want is pushing into pain. We wanna work within your range. So just find your range and stay there and you're doing a great job. Did you hear that click then? That was my shoulder. <laughs> It's like someone was being shot. Oh, right, relax, relax and roll those shoulders. Okay, my friends, I've left my chair here because I want you to see what we're gonna do next. We are gonna practice those little hovers, but before we do that, we're gonna slide backwards and you're gonna have a little relax because we're gonna just get these knees warmed up really well. Now, I do find it quite hard to, to relax back in this chair. It's not very comfortable for me. So what I'm gonna do is really let my thigh just rest into the, into the chair. So the rest of the time, we, we tend to have our weight evenly distributed through the legs. We almost want those thighs just to really relax into that chair. And all we're gonna do is take that straightening of this leg. So we're gonna work one leg and we're gonna do five straighten and then just allowing it to come down slowly. So if you took your hand onto this thigh, as you straighten out that leg, you can feel that muscle having to contract. So this is the job of these big muscles here. They straighten the leg. Okay, so when you're sitting and standing up, you have to straighten the leg. These are one of the major muscles that are working. Also the bottom muscles are working. So we're gonna get the knee joint warmed up and we're gonna get these muscles ready to go. So we've done five on that side. We're gonna do five on the other side. So we're just literally just straightening and bringing it down, good. Straightening, squeezing this muscle here and bringing it down. Notice there's a little pause at the top. If you can't pause, don't worry. Notice it's very slow. So we're not snapping that knee into a locked position. So if you get sore knees, just that snapping into, into that straight leg position can really make it sore. So when we've done five on that leg, we're just gonna walk those feet back into position, walk those sitting bones into that front half of the chair, and we're gonna get ready to do our hovers. Before we do that, I'm gonna get you to draw that tummy button in, and I'm gonna get you to lift your chest gently over those thighs. We're just gonna peep at those toes, and then you're gonna just use those hands to help you walk back to that upright position. Nice little stretch for this back. So we're using those back muscles a lot in this section. So we're just gonna stretch it out, walk those hands back up, and this is gonna form part of our back strength later on. Lift the chest over those thighs, 
And then we're just going to walk those hands all the way back. Okay. So we are now going to try a hover. So make sure that chair is secure. Make sure those feet are hit with the part and that those heels aren't in front of those knees. Otherwise, it's almost impossible to get up. Once those heels are in line with or slightly behind the knees, we've got something to push into. We can activate the muscles we wanna use. So we're gonna try and do five hovers. Really warm these thighs up. So push into those heels. See if you can just lift your bottom off the chair. And if you, I just bang down. But if you can, control it back down. So we're just gonna see if we can push into those heels. Really activate these muscles in the bottom. Good work, my friends. Whew. Now, if one or two works for you, not five, that's fine. We'll build up as the weeks progress. Let's try another. Oh, that's, and as you carry on, there's a fatigue point, but you might find it gets easier after one or two. Good. And lovely. Whew. Breathe out, my friends. Now, number five isn't going to be a hover. If we can, we're going to stand up. So if you do need something in front of you to hold on to, make sure it's there and it's secure. We're going to say three, two, oh. The most important safety point, when you're standing up, make sure you move your feet so we don't get dizzy, okay? Right, the other thing, if you need a bit of help, this is where you put your hands, here, not there, okay? So if you need a bit of help, we can push there, or you can push into your thighs, okay? Or you can pull up if you need a bit of help. All right, three, two, one. We're gonna see if we can stand, and move those feet. Okay, so this is gonna help. Make sure you don't get dizzy when you stand up from seated to standing. Now we're gonna take as many steps as you feel comfortable, okay? And we're gonna bring ourselves to the back of the chair. And don't worry, friends, I'm not gonna do this session with my head off the screen or... <laughs> I'm laughing because I know if the kids were here now, they'd say, it's better, mummy, it's better. I'm just going to move you. You just hold on to the back of that chair, okay? All right, then. I think we're in the right position. Good work. So once you're behind that chair, we're just going to move the feet. Get used to the fact that we're now in a different position. And you might find that we were a bit tight in the hips because we're sitting down. I'm going to move this chair forwards a little bit because what we're going to do first of all is we're going to take a little squeeze behind us. So it's not a big movement. And we're just going to try and squeeze that heel behind you because we're just opening up these hips. If we've been sitting a lot like this, these muscles here will be tight. So we're going to take a little squeeze and in. And if we can, remember that keeping that trunk nice and strong. So we're relaxed in the shoulders. We're taking a little squeeze and in. Little squeeze and in. We're going to do two more and one more. Now, something important. I'm just going to get you to move your feet. If you want to do this session seated, you can. So if you're in your chair now thinking I can't stand up or I don't feel like standing up, I want you to just stay in that chair, stay in that working position and everything we do standing, you can do seated. Okay. And that's the important thing. Sorry, I should have said that before we got up. Now, we're going to just see if we've got that chair nice and strong in front of us. Now you can hold on with one hand, you can hold on with both hands, or you don't have to use it at all, but it's there just in case. Now let's just take that walk on the spot. I'm going to leave my chair there. I'm going to pretend I've got it in front of me because obviously if it is there, you can't see my legs or my feet and you won't know what to do. So we're just taking this little walk on the spot. When I turn this way, it's just to show you from a different angle so you can feel confident you're doing the right thing. I'll tell you if you need to move. Now we're gonna steady those feet. We're gonna start with those side taps. So we'll start with this leg. This is your left leg and we're gonna tap out and in. Good, out and in. We're gonna tap out and in. We're gonna tap out and in. 
and in. Good. We're going to do four more. Good. Three and two and one. We're going to bring it in. We're going to hold them to that chair and we're just going to lift those knees just a little bit higher than normal. Now, if you're feeling confident, if you're feeling confident and you want to lift your knees a little bit higher, we can turn to your left, hold onto the chair with that right hand and just lift those knees a little bit higher, but you'll only have one hand holding on. Good. We're going to do three, two and one. Bring it down. Now we're going to take that little pedal. Remember this little pedal? It's like the jogger's pedal. One heel at a time. So it's a nice alternative to walking on the spot, just keeping those feet moving. Lovely. All right, my friends. Now we're going to see if we can take some side steps. So you might want to hold on to the chair and we're going to move this way. We're going to move to your left. So we're going to take a step and we're going to bring this foot across, okay? We're going to take a step and we're going to bring this foot across. So we're going to start with smaller steps. We're going to do it again. We're going to step across. We're going to step across. Good. We're going to step across and step across. So we're going to see if we can make sure we're not leading with this head, but we're leading with the leg. Should we do four more steps? We're gonna step this way. We're gonna step across. Good. We're gonna step across. Step across and step across. Good work. Okay, let's walk it out. So we've got four major moves. Okay, we've got our walk on the spot. So remember, you can hold on to that chair. If you want to let go with one arm, you can make that 90 degree bend at the elbow, and that means you're not going to hit the chair. You might find you can use both arms. So we're going to take a nice, active walk on the spot. Okay, so we're going to get that heart rate going. We're going to get that breathing coming a little bit faster. It's going to make you nice and warm. And then we're going to gradually just slow it down. Slow it down. We're just going to take that little pedal. Now, if that breathing's coming too fast, we might have gone too hard at it. So we might need to slow it down next time. Now we're going to take those little taps behind. We're going to take that little squeeze behind that we were doing earlier. Good. So we're just tapping with that big toe, bringing it in. Tap and in. Good. Tap, it's just a tap rather than a full step. Tap and in. Now, those of you that are holding on with both hands, just stay with this movement. If you want to hold on with one hand and add a bicep curl, you can. You can even do it with two hands. Okay, so it's a little tap and in. Tap and in. We're gonna do four and three. Good work, my friends. Two and one. We're going to bring that foot in. Just gently wiggle those toes. Move those feet. You might want to roll those shoulders if you're feeling a little bit tense. And then we're going to take those taps. So we're going to tap out and back. Out and back. Good. Out and back. Out and back. So when we've got that little rhythm, we're tapping and in. Now, you may feel comfortable just taking that arm forwards and back, holding on with one hand. Good. You may feel comfortable taking two arms forwards. If you're comfortable letting go, I'm just going to show you from this angle. Tap and in. Good. Tap. This is one hand. Good. And this is both hands on the chair. Three and two and one. Whoo, bring it in. So we're feeling a little bit warmer, my friends. The sun is shining in this room. Okay, well, <laughs> okay, there is light. 
and then we're going to bring it down and then we're going to take those side steps so remember nice and secure so we're going to step bring that foot across step across good step across step across now you may want to add some arm movement one arm or two so if you're comfortable we're going to push and in push and in or we're just going to hold on okay we're going to do five four lovely three and two good work lovelies good work so have that chair just wiggle the toes take that little pedal excellent and remember you can always sit down have a little rest if you need to but when you stand up, make sure you take that little pedal with the feet if you're gonna stand up again. So it's up to you. Now we're gonna do the balance section. So if there is a section that you do wanna stand for, and just for a short time, this is probably a really valuable one because we're gonna use this chair. Now we're gonna try and keep this trunk nice and strong. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna see if we can take those heel raises off the floor. So we're just gonna get your eye in, but keep those legs moving a little bit. So we're gonna see if we can imagine you're doing it, that tight pair of trousers. So just draw your tummy button in a little bit, just gently. And then we're just gonna pick the heels off the floor. So I'll show you from this angle. I'm gonna bring the chair here actually, because you can get the light a bit better there. We're just gonna lift those heels up and slowly down. So notice, sometimes we do this, and it tends to be the arms and the upper body that's taking the weight. We're just taking the weight forward. It's almost like a press up. So if you can bring those feet a little bit closer to the chair, just lift those heels gently up and down, we will start to build the strength in those calf muscles. Good. And we can take one hand away, to challenge your balance. And remember with that hand that's there, you start with the little finger, then the thumb. You might take away the third finger, the fourth finger, but that index finger is the last to come. And only if you're not wobbling. And then we're gonna bring those heels down, my friends. Good. Just gently walk it out. So you might now feel these calf muscles really sort of contracting because they've been working hard. So what we're gonna do is just stand with those feet hip width apart and we're gonna take one, one toe behind you. So we're gonna take that one foot behind you. We're gonna press the heel of that back foot to the floor. So we're stretching out those calf muscles in this position. Great. And then bringing it up. So I like to bring that calf stretch in after those heel raises. Let's do the same on the other side. And just try and remember, if that foot was on a clock face, the heel would be at six o'clock and the big toe would be at 12. Okay? You can use that chair to really make that stretch effective. Oh, lovely. All right. Let's bring it back so that you're facing the front. Well, I'm facing the front. Now, what we're going to do next is a static balance, a static. So that means we're going to be still. So this is going to challenge your balance. Now, we practiced this last week. So do you remember? No, you won't remember because I did it on my own because the internet failed. So this is what we're going to do, my friends. I was going on to you last week going, this is so challenging. OK, so this is quite challenging in terms of balance. So it's, it's similar to say standing on one leg, but I think it's more challenging. What we're gonna do is basically take one foot close to the chair, and then we're gonna take one foot behind as if you were standing on a tightrope. So those hips are facing forwards. I'm gonna show you this angle. So here's my feet. We're get, I'm gonna move this chair. It's just so dark, you can't see. I'm gonna move one foot behind the other as if we were on a tightrope. Now I've got that chair there, okay? But ideally you've got two hands on the chair. Now if you're feeling quite strong, you might then let one hand away, okay? And then we go through the thumb, little finger, four, three, 
index finger is the last and then take both off. You might need those arms out to the side, but when we come back, hold on, bring that back foot back so your feet hit with the part. So I'm gonna show you from this angle and we can see if we can do it all together if you like. So always have something you can hold on to. Then there's feet quite close to the chair so we can stand nice and tall. Now this toe isn't touching the heel. There's about a sort of quarter of an inch between them. We're gonna lift that chest. You can bend the knees just to lower that center of gravity. And we're gonna hold it for a count of 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So that their feet hit with the part. How was that? It is challenging. So make sure you've got that chair and we'll just practice this as the weeks go on. Should we try it with the other foot leading now? So this time, we're gonna bring those feet quite close to the chair. We're gonna take the foot that was in front behind this time. And what you'll find is that it's a different level. One, you always feel more comfortable with one foot in front than the other. So you might find last time was easier or harder. So make sure weight is evenly distributed, holding onto that chair, keep that chest lifted. I've started the clock, we've got five seconds left. You may feel comfortable challenging that balance, you may not. Three, two, one, bring that back foot and relax. Good. So that was what we call our tandem stance. It's quite a recognized test for balance. So I know that the physiotherapists will use it in their assessment of, of how well you balance. And of course, we can start to challenge later on by almost bringing in a walking, like the police do when they're breathalyzing you. I'm not saying anything there. But for now, we're just going to do it statically. Make sure you feel confident with it, and then we'll move it on. Now, I'm just going to get you to move your feet gently, my friends. What we're going to do next is we're going to stand on one leg, and then we're going to introduce some movement. So with that chair in front of you, we're just going to bring those feet nice and comfortably underneath your shoulders. We're going to just take those knees off lock a little bit, okay? So you're standing nice and tall. Then all we're going to do is we're going to see if we can just lift one foot off the floor. Now, if that's no good, you can just lift the heel off the floor and imagine that you're standing on this leg, okay? Only if you feel comfortable are we going to lift that whole foot off the floor. We're holding onto that chair and only if we're not wobbling do we start to challenge that balance? Good. It's looking really good, my friends. Three, two, one. Bring that foot down. Let's move those feet a bit. And then we'll do the same on the other side. So we're starting with those hands on the chair, taking those knees off lock, pushing that supporting leg into the floor. I've got my chair and lifting that foot off the floor. Leave that toe down if you're not sure. Good. So we're really making sure we don't hold our breath, breathe out. We're gonna go five, four, ooh, three, two, one. Bring it down. <sighs> breathe out, breathe out. That was excellent, friends. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a step to the side of your chair. Now, we've stepped to um, the right of your chair, so it's going to be the right leg that's going to be doing the swinging, the left leg that you're going to balance on. I'm going to move my chair over a bit, so we can hold onto the chair with two hands or one hand. We're going to lift that knee up, and we're just going to brush the carpet. So I'm going to show you from this angle, so you can see exactly what we're doing. We're standing nice and tall, lifting that foot off the floor, and then it's like a pendulum swing. We call it the flamingo swing. So my leg is just swinging. Notice what's happening with the trunk. It's totally stable. Okay, so do you think we can have a go at that? So let's see if we can do that. So holding onto that chair, 
I'm going to lift that right foot up nice and tall. Just gently brush the carpet, the lino, whatever you've got. You need to bend that knee a little bit so it doesn't sort of bang into the floor. Looking straight ahead, bring it down. So we're going to walk it back behind that chair, behind that chair, and then we'll do the same on the other side. So I'm going to bring myself to the other side of the chair. I'm happy to hold on with one hand, but you can hold on with two. So we're going to lift that left leg this time, and we're just going to take five little brushes of the carpet. Good. Forwards and backwards. Lovely. We're going to do two more, and one. Bring it down. All right, bring it back behind that chair. Good work. All right, my friends. Some different balance than we've been doing the last few weeks. And I think it's really good. What I'm keen to do now is to work on that strength of the resistance band to get you used to it. So I've got lots of different exercises I'd like to do with you. So let's bring ourselves into that chair again. So we're just going to take as many steps as you feel comfortable. You're going to bring yourself to the front of the chair. And before you sit down, just feel for that chair on the back of your legs. So you can just check, make sure you're evenly placed. And only when you are, we're going to lower yourself nice and safely down into that chair. OK, so while you're doing that, I'm going to move the camera, OK, so that we can see each other better, if you don't mind. So. Is that okay? You can have a little relax. Have a drink if you've got one there. And let's just see if that's going to work, shall we? I did brush my hair, I promise. <laughs> okay, that's not bad, I think. I might just change it slightly. So if you've got your resistance band to hand, you can grab it now. If you haven't got it, don't worry that you haven't got it. What we'll do is just, um, we'll just uh, do the movements without the resistance. Okay, let's see if that works. So first things first, from our relaxed position, seated position, working position. So lifting that chest, and this is where we're gonna really get those tummy muscles, those back muscles nice and strong. We're going to just lift one sitting bone at a time and we're going to come into that um, working position, that front half of the chair. So those feet are underneath the knees. I've got to get my chair right. And we're just going to take a little roll of the shoulders and relax them down. So our first thing we're going to do is we're just going to do some upper body, give the legs a little bit of a rest. So we're going to scoop the band up into the palms of the hands. So the palms are facing upwards. And do you remember we did that rowing action at the start? So this is what we're going to do. We're just going to relax the shoulders and create some tension in that band. I'm going to just come a little bit closer. So the closer those hands are together, the more challenging it is. The further they are apart, the less challenging. So no matter what type of band you've got, you can actually play with it. Now we're just going to work these little muscles in the back of the shoulders by just opening, but keeping these elbows firmly close, close to the body. So we're just going to take a little pull and we're going to release. That's it, a little pull and release. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to relax the shoulders we're going to create that tension and squeeze those elbows behind you. So I'm going to get back on my chair. We're going to prepare and then we're going to do 10. OK, so create that tension, squeeze those elbows behind you into that row, release, relax. Good. I'll show you from this angle. OK, so we're creating that tension, looking straight ahead, squeezing those elbows behind you, release. Relax, good. And again, so this is number three. I'm determined to get the counting right this week. Number four, breathe out my friends and release. Number five, draw those elbows behind you. Now, if this is your first time doing it with a band, you might wanna stop now because what we don't want is you to really feel this tomorrow. Let's build up to it. So. 
If it's your first time with a band, we'll just do five of everything and gradually build as the weeks go on. We've got three more if you've been using that band before. So three, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Keep relaxing those shoulders away from the ears. And we're just going to take one more, okay? One more. And release. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> that gets these muscles here. So it's those muscles in and around the shoulder blades, the back of the shoulders. And what that's going to help you do, my friends, while you relax, is, is help just combat that slightly rounded position that we tend to all get into, because that's what life does to us. We don't tend to work behind ourselves, we work in front of ourselves. So let's give the upper body a rest. Let's do these legs, because I deliberately didn't do too many sit to stands today, because I wanted to do leg strength using the band. So we're gonna take either side of the band, and we are going to just take the front foot um, into, or the front part of the foot into the band, if that makes sense. Now, I've just seen a message flap up. I'm just gonna, oh, is the image frozen? I'm hoping you're still with me. I'm hoping you're still with me. If you're not, my apologies. Okay, now, take that band onto the front part of the foot. We're just gonna take the front half of that chair. Now what we're gonna do is just sit up nice and tall and there's some resistance in that band, okay? And we're gonna lift that foot off the floor, just secure those hands at the top of the thigh and we're gonna straighten out that leg. Now I'm just gonna show you in a different angle. So I'm gonna show you this way. So we're just going to lift that foot off the floor, secure the hands at the top of the thighs just straighten out that leg. Now, when we're straightening out the leg and bending, make sure that knee's in line with that second toe. So we're keeping that lovely knee alignment. So are we ready? Should we see if we can do 10? So we're gonna lengthen out through that leg and just bend that knee, control it back. So we're gonna push away and bring it back. Good. We're gonna push away, lengthen through that leg and release. Good, so breathe out, my friends. That's great. Breathe in, we're gonna breathe out. And we're gonna breathe in. We're gonna do three, good. So we're straining that leg. Little bit like those movements we did in the warm up. Last one, can you feel those thighs working? I can. <laughs> and release, and relax, good. So. We're just gonna give those legs a little bit of a shake and then we're gonna change sides. So what I am gonna do is change my angle so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. So we're gonna take either end of the band, just drop that bend down, take the front part of the foot into the band. So I'm hoping the image is back, my friends. I'm hoping the image is back. We're gonna sit up nice and tall and then we're just gonna lift that foot off the floor. Good. And then we're gonna straighten out that leg, good. So as you just play with this position, just make sure that knee bends in line with that second toe, okay, or the big toe. Now let's see if we can just lengthen that leg. We're gonna do 10 again and see what's happening with this upper body. So we're not leaning backwards, we're sitting nice and tall. So we're gonna lengthen and bring it in, good. Lengthen. Brilliant. I can already feel my thigh muscles working. Whew. So this is an excellent exercise and you can do this in your own time. It's really, really functional. So it's the sort of thing that is going to help you get in and out of chairs, okay, up and down steps. Okay, when you're out and about walking, it's an all round good guy. And because we're using the resistance band, rather than sort of standing up or squatting or sit to stand, you'll find that maybe it's less impact on your joints. Good. So I think we've got two more. Forgive me if I've counted wrong. Breathe out. And in. And we're going to breathe out. And we're going to release. Good work. Okay. Just walk those feet out a little bit again. Lovely. Now, what we're going to do this time, chums, is 
we're going to work on the chest muscles and the shoulders and it's that very it's like a press up really and you see press ups in pretty much most workouts that we do. So we're gonna take the band behind you as if you were drying yourself with a luxurious bath towel, okay? Keep the images positive. And then we're just gonna bring the band just over the hand like that. So we've got that thumb up, we're gripping the band here, and it means you can keep that wrist nice and flat rather than pushing like that. So if we've got the wrist in that position, you might find it puts pressure. So try and keep that nice flat um, wrist. Okay, so relax those shoulders, and we're just simply gonna push away from that chest, slowly bring those elbows back to the start position. So we're pushing away, looking straight ahead and coming back. Now watch those shoulders, slide those shoulders down and push away without bringing those shoulders up. If you can't do it without doing that, loosen off the band a little bit, get that technique right. So we're pushing, and bringing back, so that's five. So if you've not done this with a band before, now might be that time to stop, okay? Because if you've done it before, we're gonna do five more, but we don't want you really sore tomorrow. If you wanna make it more challenging, bring those hands closer to the middle of the band, but make sure you can take that nice extension. <sighs> breathe out. I think we've got three more. So we're gonna breathe out, and we're gonna breathe in, good. We're gonna breathe out, and we're gonna breathe in. And we're gonna take one more breath out, and we're gonna release. Roll those shoulders up and back, my friends. Great work. Now, while we're there in this position, I'm gonna get you just to see if we can just open out that chest a little bit. So just open, draw those shoulders, and bring it in. And then we're gonna let go with one hand, bring this band back, okay. Bring this band back here, lovely. So what we're gonna do next is again, hold both ends of the band. We're gonna do a little bit of work for the lower back. So this is gonna mean that you can sit up easier, you can stand tall when you're walking. And so we're gonna work these back muscles. So let's take not just one foot, but both feet into the band. So the feet are still just underneath the knees. Nice hip width apart. And what we're gonna do is just draw that tummy button in again. So as if you're doing that tight pair of trousers up, and we're just gonna walk those hands down the band. So not too far, make sure you feel comfortable. Now we're gonna push your feet down into the floor, and all we're gonna do is lift your chest. So notice I'm not using the arms, I'm just lifting my chest. So I want you to imagine that you've got a sort of paperweight between your shoulder blades and it's really heavy and it's pushing you downwards. But you're gonna see if you can sit up and let that paperweight slide down your back. The other visualization is that you've got headlights on the front of your shoulders and you're just allowing those headlights to shine on the floor then you're gonna lift that chest and let those headlights shine straight ahead. Good, so control this movement back down. Good, and then we're just gonna really lift that chest. Wonderful, so you can feel, I'm just gonna let go with this hand so you can see, you can feel these back muscles contracting as you lift, and then as you bring that chest forwards, those muscles are lengthening. So we're stretching them out a little bit and we're stretching up and contracting those muscles. And then we're gonna gently come forwards, loosen off that band, lift those feet off the band and bring it back here. Great stuff. So much you can do with this stretchy band, it's brilliant. So I had lots of things I wanted to do but I think I'm gonna face you now because really I've had you here quite a long time. So we're gonna do a little bit of work for the wrists, okay? So we're gonna fold the band in half, we're gonna fold it in half again and again. What I am gonna do is next week I'll do some slightly different exercises so you get a feel of what you can do in your own time. And I can then send you a little list of the exercises 
um, or even just do you a quick video that I could send you that you can just do some strength maybe more than once a week. Now, what we're going to do is take one hand at the top of the band, thumb up, one hand at the bottom, elbows it out, and we're going to squeeze those elbows in. Good. We're going to squeeze those out. It's like wringing a dishcloth. So this is all about strengthening your wrists, strengthening your wrists so that you can open jars, you can turn. We've got a particularly dodgy key and lock for our front door, and it takes a lot of wrist strength to open it. So this is all about strengthening those wrists. Good. Keeping them functional. And then we're just going to change the way we do this. So we're going to bring the elbows in. So we'll take one hand off, place it back. And this time we're going to twist out. You've got it. So we're going to twist out and we're going to twist out. Yes. Should we do four more? Twist. Keep those shoulders nice and relaxed. Twist and twist. Okay. Last one. Breathing out. Oh, and relax. Just take those wrists, give them a little, give them a little circle. Great stuff. All right. Whew. Sit back in that chair and relax. We're going to do our little cool down and our little stretch. You can just, hello, <laughs> take that band, place it on the back of your chair. And well done, friends. I always, always have a list that's got too many exercises in it because I think, oh, we must do this for this. We must do this for this. So um, I hope I did a good selection today. I don't wanna keep doing the same ones every week, but at the same time, we wanna see that we're improving with certainly the sort of more functional exercises that help with the everyday. Now, let's just see if we can take those little toe taps out and back. So we're just gonna tap out and in. Good, I'm just gonna angle my chair a little bit. We're gonna tap out and back. Good, out and back, out and back. And one more, and then we're just gonna see if we can take that gentle little push forwards squeeze it back but we're going to make it almost like a flow this time so we're just getting that blood flow through the muscles we've been working but it's nice and easy so if you think of this as breathing in and breathing out there's a really nice flow about it good and then we're going to bring those hands down now we're going to do that little stretch for that upper body so you've been working the triceps so what we're going to do is walk that hand over that shoulder. But this time, if you can, we're going to place that hand on the fleshy part of the arm. Just support that stretch. We're looking straight ahead, gently pushing that elbow towards the ceiling. Diane. And then we're going to reach up with this hand. So we're just going to hold onto the chair with the other hand and then keep both sitting bones on the chair. Breathe out, lift that rib cage, breathe in and down. Don't worry if there's part of that that you're not comfortable doing, just do what you feel you can. So same hand, same shoulder, other side. We're gonna just place that hand to support that stretch. And this is just such a useful stretch. So even if we're just here or here, it's worth just finding your point of tension and then reaching. So we were saying in the class earlier, you don't realize how important it is to be able to reach behind you till you hurt your shoulder and find you can't, and you're really unable to sort of get the back of your hair. So what we're trying to do is just really make sure you've got that ability to reach behind you. Take the roll of those shoulders, my friends. Now, what we're gonna do next is just walk the feet just a little bit, and then we're gonna take that stretch for the back of the leg. So you remember we did this earlier. We're taking one foot in front of you. We've got that heel on the floor, chest in line with those hips, and we're just gonna keep that nice long back. Reach, breathe out, and then breathe in. You can do that again if you like. So we're not trying to touch the foot, we're just reaching forwards, breathing out, 
breathing in, make sure you're nice and secure on that chair, slide it in. And we'll do the same on the other side. So I'm gonna show you at a slightly different angle. We're in the front half of the chair, make sure you feel secure doing this. Taking that one foot out in front, and then just drawing that toe to the ceiling. And as you breathe out, hinging at the hips and just stopping at that point of tension. And then we're just gonna take a nice breath out. We're gonna breathe in. We're gonna breathe out. And we're gonna breathe in. And then we're just gonna come all the way back up, slide that foot in and we'll just take just some nice little movements with those legs. Just get that blood flowing through. Okay, so in that front half of the chair, we're going to stretch out the chest. So we're going to look straight ahead. We're going to hold on to or as close to the back of the chair as you can. Draw those shoulders away from the ears and you just feel that lovely stretch across the front of the body. Chest, shoulders, and you're just going to draw that chin towards the back of your neck. And then we'll release, shake it out a little bit, shake it out. And my friends, that is one hour on the clock. We're gonna walk those sitting bones backwards, relax back and job well done. So I'm gonna get you to think about really relaxing, thinking about pushing this breath out of your mouth. And we're just gonna see if you can move those hands in time with that breathing. Doesn't matter how you move your hands, but we're gonna just take that gentle breath in and that gentle breath out. Push that breath out. And wonderful. Oh. <laughs> Well done. This is a round of applause from Sir Tag, from Tag Towers applauding you. Fantastic effort today, my friends. I can't believe how quickly it went. I hope it went quickly for you. You may find that the whole hour is just too much. If you do, please don't worry. Just sit down, relax when you need to, and then join in when you can, and we'll build your stamina. There is also a 30 minute seated cast on a Thursday. So that is very much, we've got a bit of music, lots of mobilizing and a bit of fun just to get you nice and loose. What we aim at specifically in this class is very much to improve your balance and hopefully um, you know, prevent any incidents of falls or trips. Um, but also just make life very much easier with the exercises we include. So you've done a great job. If you don't have a, a resistance band and you want one, just get in touch. So it is Sarah with an H dot tag, T-A-G-G at keridigian.gov.uk. The beautiful council have given me lots of bands. Sam Tag, I shut him out today. I shut the door. So if the image froze, it could be because of that. Um, but I'm hoping you're there now. Anyway, have a great rest of the day, my friends. Any queries, anything you need, get in touch. And apologies if there was any disruption to that session. Signing out. Ta-ta. Hoi -ta.